We will take the last question. My name is Misbah and I'm from Pakistan and I'm doing bachelor's in MLT. My question is that Allah is not the father of us. Then how come in the Bible Isa salam said that I will pray to my father and he will send you a comforter. This is confusing me. What you are referring to is a verse from the Bible from Gospel of John chapter number 14 verse number 16. And I will pray to the father and he will send you a comforter. Whenever in the Bible Jesus Christ peace be upon him uses the word father it refers to Almighty God. He is referring to Almighty God. So in the Bible this word father when it is used by Jesus Christ peace be upon him it is referring to no one but Almighty God. In the Bible Almighty God he has got sons by the tons. Ephraim was the son of God. Adam was the son of God. All those who are read by the Spirit of God they are sons of God. So son of God, it refers to a righteous person. It refers to a person who follows the commandments of Almighty God. And many people, they say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he is not a normal son, but he is a begotten son. And they quote the verse of the Bible in the Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever shall believe in him, shall not die but have everlasting life now this word begotting according to 32 scholars of the highest eminent backed by 50 different cooperating denominations they say that this word begotten it is a concoction it is a fabrication and they have thrown it out of the bible that's the reason in the glorious quran there are no less than 99 names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are mentioned in the glorious Quran and in the authentic hadith. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took utmost precaution not to use the word father that is Ab in Arabic. Because he knew that people they would misunderstand this word and they would misuse it. But in the Bible this word is used and whenever Jesus Christ peace be upon him he uses it is referring to no one but the father in heaven and it is referring to almighty God. So this was the time that we had today. Inshallah, the remaining part of the session will be continued by my father. I would like to end this session. Wa akhiru da'awana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.